Hey guys, so it's Trish. I'm back again after a very long hiatus. Um, I finally am in the situation that I have a camera actually capable of recording videos that's compatible with my tablet and I have a fucking viewfinder so I can actually see what I'm doing and I can see that I'm in focus and yeah, it's, it's great. I'm using a Canon G7X now to film and so far I, I love it. And um, my first video back will not be a cover. It's going to be a book haul and a small little book review. So this year of 2018, one of my resolutions was to read more because I used to be a very avid reader and I haven't really been reading that much since. Like I have been every now and then because there's obviously like books and like I'm obsessed with the Mortal Instruments series. I read all of those. I read the prequel trilogy, the um, Infernal Devices. I read the Bane Chronicles and I read Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. And obviously those last two I just named came out like way after the other ones were released. So like as they came out, I'm buying them and reading them. But I haven't been like reading consistently like I used to. So what like there's been other books like sing like standalone books like here and there and be like oh i want to read this so i read it and like a movie's coming out but i know it's a book and i prefer reading it first i'll be like oh i want to read it before i see it so then i read that but that's about it i haven't been motivated to actually read consistently like on a daily weekly basis like i used to all the time so i'm trying to get into that and my goal that i set for myself was to read at least two books a month so with that said um i'm gonna knock out the book haul that i've done recently first just so i can get that out of the way so um i i have a stack of books in front of me just so you know um so the net today is april 30th no, today's the 29th, actually. Um, this is actually the next book on my that I'm going to be reading. I think it's called the Don't Close Your Eyes trilogy because this is three books in one. I actually went out, went ahead and marked off the three separate books with paper clips just so I'm not losing myself. This is going to be my next read, by the way. This is the ninth book. Um, I'm gonna get to that later. Um, so yeah, so it's Wake, Fade, and Gone. Basically the main character, I don't know what she's going through, but apparently she gets sucks in, sucked into people's dreams. Yeah, sounds interesting. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen, but we'll see. Um, and just so you know, these are from two separate days of getting books. So this other one, I just got this yesterday and it's a Lisa Klepas novel. I have no idea if I'm actually saying her last name right. I've read only one other book by her. She is a romance novelist. I hate romance novels and I never thought that I would actually read one ever before in my life but my friend Catherine um, actually recommended one like she let me borrow it like a long time ago like a year maybe a year and a half ago um and it, and it was called mine till midnight something like that mm -hmm. and i was like i'm gonna read this and i'm gonna hate it it's gonna take me forever to read it because i'm not gonna like it i finished that book in like two the two days two or three days because i loved it and i was like why why am i doing this to myself you're not supposed to like romance novels it's sappy well i liked it and now i'm mad because i like it so basically anything with her name on it i'll read except i did buy another one and i i didn't read it because it was all about it's all like sappy love letters i was like i'm not reading this anymore so i'm trying to sell it i'm trying to get rid of it but yeah this one i read the description it's supposed to be like the other one so kind of read that and enjoy it also, I picked this one up the other day. 
um it's called the list basically it's space it's i never read books that are like on stuff that's like can be real life stuff like i'm a fantasy person i read stuff that can't be real well it could be real but it'd be like you know really fucked up universe kind of real um yeah um this is like normal high school stuff there's basically a list that going around the high school and like there's a girl it's all about the girls and there's one named the hottest girl in the class or the ugliest and then some in the in-between and it's just a bunch of stupid drama basically this book but um yeah all right moving on so i have the edge of never by j.a red mersky red mersky this person wrote this book yeah i'm going to read this too i decided i wanted to get into reading more about young adults closer to my age because i just turned 25 and i'm still reading about freaking teenagers and i'm like no yeah so uh she's like she is supposed to be 20 she is 20 so there you go basically she like goes on some adventure to find herself and her i don't know she's just trying to find herself and instead she finds love yeah okay so the next one is the seller by natasha preston i have been trying to read this book for forever i mean i've been trying to read this book since before this book was even published and when i say that you're probably confused how are you going to read it if it was never published because she is a wattpad author if any of you know um there is an app it's like nook but it's like it's like it's a free nook you don't actually buy anything on there everything's free mostly because the books aren't actually published books if you're lucky and actually search you can find an actual book that actually exists on sale in the store i know this because i've done it but um this was on wattpad for free to read and it wasn't a published book it was so good that she actually got it published and she has uh maybe i think she has like three or four more now and i think they all go with this so it might be a trilogy or a saga or whatever a series so yeah i'm excited to read this because i've been wanting to read it for years yeah so that's my baby um okay the only books i have left that are recent hauls are the continuation books of vampire academy so i got frostbite shadow kiss blood promise and spirit bound i just dropped one on the floor um anyway i have the first one over there in my other collection of books that have already been read and put on the bookshelf whatever um these aren't on a bookshelf or anything because i don't have any more room for them um i read the first vampire academy book only because the movie was coming out and i wanted to read it first ha um fyi i hated that book well i hated it until i got to the end back when i used to be on tumblr all the time i asked people if it got good who've read it and they said oh yeah it's really good but it doesn't get good until like halfway through the series i'm like what there's like seven books dude what are you talking about but i watched the movie the, um I, the, no matter what you do the book is always going to be better but I, I don't know certain aspects i liked better in the movies certain things i like better in the book um i'm just hoping that the book does get better because it did it the first one does get so much better at the end so i'm like oh well frostbite must be good so i'm like i'm going to continue to read the rest of them so we'll see where that goes okay so remember when i said i was reading 
my goal is to read at least two books a month so the first one i read for january i actually gave myself the entire month of january to read this because i did not i knew i wasn't going to finish it with time to spare to read another one suicide squad the novelization of the movie yes it's literally the movie in this book um i don't know why but when i saw it in the store i was compelled to buy it i was just like i need to have it because i was obsessed with suicide squad come on um same thing as the movie the only interesting characters in the movie like in the book were harley quinn and deadshot so yeah i'm actually getting rid of this book i'm trying to sell it get it i don't know i don't care how i get rid of it it needs to go so that was the first one i read it took me the entire month because i wasn't interested um second book i read of this year was will grayson will grayson by john green and david levithan um this was a great way for me to get into david levithan because i've never actually read any of his books but there is a movie called Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, and I love that movie, and he's actually the author of that book, though I've never read it, but um, I want to get into reading his books because this was a really, really great collaboration he did with John Green, and I love John Green, so um, yeah, that was really interesting. Um, I've been wanting to read that for like two years, I think, and I finally got it uh, this past Christmas. So, I went through that pretty quick. So, that was the first book I read in February. In the second half of February, I borrowed a manga from a friend. And it's called Solonin. I don't have it, obviously, because, like I just said, I borrowed it. So, I had to return it. So, um... Insert picture I posted on Instagram here. Uh, it's really cool. I liked it. It's sad. It's really sad. Although I didn't act. I, I, I'm not really one to cry from books. It. I do cry from books though. But it's. It. It takes a lot. I, I only cry from books for real if it's like a series and I'm actually attached to the characters. And I actually give a flipping fuck about the character, like when i'm not gonna shut up i'm about to spoil shit for people okay um yeah so like i have to actually attach myself and care about these characters these characters in these books that actually be emotional and actually shed some tears but um yeah um it was sad um i liked that it was music there was music in it like they had a band and i love reading stuff like that because i myself am a musical person so reading that kind of stuff is like oh yeah this is my comfort zone yeah okay i'm gonna move on because i don't even have the actual book with me to talk about it so um bye oh by the way though i love the artwork in it so whatever the author's name was it i probably can't pronounce it uh props to you uh, so the fourth one I read this year, um, first book of the month of March was Life and Death. Um, I used to be a diehard Twihard and I've read the Twilight Saga a total of 14 times. I also own the complete guide to everything twilight like the information on every single character the cars they drive um there are backstories that you don't hear in the actual series like backstories of characters that were only in there for like maybe a freaking page i have that i have the first movie guide i have all of the magazines for all the movies that came out i have uh, it's ridiculous i have all this freaking twilight crap and i don't even have the heart to get rid of it even though it's not my favorite series anymore but i have life and death and i read it i read the hell out of this so i could die i could dive into this and like pull out every single difference this book is literally exactly the same with the exception of obvious name changes because it's gender bent and let me tell you, when I had issues, 
I had issues with this gender bentness because first of all, first of all, the name, Bo Buford, really? Come on, you couldn't have picked a better name? And then you still kept the Bella female mannerisms and gave it to him as a boy? That doesn't make any sense. It's just like, I can't tell you how much that bugged me. But, like, I, I had started to get really bored with this. And um, I actually, um, it didn't get interesting to me again until chapter, like, what? There's 24 chapters total. I think it wasn't until chapter 22 literally two chapters away from it being over that it caught my attention for real because Stephanie Meyer pulled one on us. She changed the ending. It is a what if, um, let's think of it as actual Twilight. It's a what if Edward had actually let Bella change. Edith let Buford change. So I was like, oh, actually letting us see what would have happened yeah so until you get to chapter 22 that's the only like those two chapters are completely different so i just spoiled shit for you i'm sorry spoiler alert i'm sorry okay um what that was that was book one two three four book five of this year was Speak by Lori House Anderson. I have seen the film version of this at least three times, so I wanted to read it. This book is literally exactly the same as the movie. I'm, I have nothing to say about it, but because it was exactly the same, there was nothing surprising about it. I was only living for any David Petrakis parts in the book because he's like my favorite character in it. So I, it took me a while to get through this, which is really sad because look how tiny this is. It's tiny. Yeah, but I finished it and then I moved on to my book six. Let me tell you about this series, this trilogy. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Can you tell that I'm excited about talking about this? Because I just finished reading it. That's why I'm freaking excited. Um, This trilogy, the Mara Dyer trilogy, let me tell you how much I love this trilogy. I love it so much it's on the level of the mortal instruments. I read all three of these books in 10 days. 10 days at the most. It was probably closer to eight, seven or eight days. But this is my new love. I'm in love with this trilogy. Like, you have no idea. Like, I, I think I'm obsessed, really. I haven't been this obsessed with, with a freaking trilogy or a series since TMI. And when did I read that? That I read that in like 2013. That was five years ago. Come on. Oh my goodness. You don't understand how much I love this. But first of all, Mara Dyer herself, I want to know what their real names are because it's not her real name, Mara Dyer. Um, the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, the first book, as soon as she started talking, I was just like, oh my goodness, I finally found a female literary character that I love just as much, much as Joe March. Joe March is my first favorite literary female character since childhood. No one has ever come to mind to like them enough until Mara Dyer. She has a freaking attitude. She, she's sassy as hell. I'm just like, yes, I'm living for it. And then Noah Shaw. Let me tell you about Noah Shaw. Noah Shaw is on the, he is my new like favorite character period. And that means a lot because Jace from the Mortal Instruments is my favorite period. 
so they might be neck and neck i don't know which one i like more noah shaw is freaking amazing and the story i love the story and the whole entire time it's just really aggravating because she's telling the truth about everything but everybody thinks she's crazy but she's actually not crazy but they just have these really super superhero it i don't like they have these special powers and they can't explain them because they don't know anything about them and nobody's trying to help them for real is that like this one the what dr kells is trying to help them but she doesn't tell them that she's trying to help them she it does experiments on them without their consent and tries to make everybody else think that they're freaking crazy but they're not and she knows they're not crazy because she's trying to figure out what's happening to them because it's happening to her or the pete like the reason why she can't have kids like ugh, there's so much i can't say like i need to just move on i need to move on before i can't i can't i can't this is too much like i can talk for hours about this right now but yeah uh those were books six seven and eight it is april the fourth month and i'm already done with book eight my goal was two books a month i should only be at Wait, no, that's correct. No, I was trying to read one book a month. Oh, oh, yeah, it was one book a month. But I'm doing at least two a month. Even though I, I got behind, but I caught up, especially with that trilogy. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. And I just realized now that I actually left a book out of my haul. Uh, it's... The book is Torment by Lauren Cates. It's part of the Fallen series. That's another one of my favorites, by the way. I don't have any of the other books, but if I remember correctly, because it's been so long since I've actually read them, I think Torment was my favorite. I went ahead and bought it because I'm gonna own the other ones eventually one day anyway, so. But that's about it, and yeah, like I said, I'm going to be reading Don't Close Your Eyes next, and I'm going to delve into that and maybe do a book review or another haul later, maybe another four months. Maybe I should do it every four months. That will be three videos total, but um, yeah, that's basically it and yeah if you have any recommendations for me um leave them down in the comments if you want to know what the authors of these books are i guess i'll leave them down in the description box if i must um but yeah that's all i gotta say so bye and thank you for watching this video and listening to me ramble okay bye for real